Infrastructure is so important to jobs. It's important to national security, and it's a real opportunity for us to get something done. Back in January, President Obama said his New Year's resolution was to do whatever it takes to move the economy forward. I believe that this conference is an opportunity for us to do just that. To be successful, we need real reforms to our highway programs that will make the most efficient and effective use of the taxpayer's dollar. And we need to seize the opportunity to do something good for our energy security, which is so essential for economic growth. As a negotiator from the Energy and Commerce Committee, provisions within our purview include the Congestion Mitigation Quality Program under the Clean Air Act and the Vehicle Safety overseen by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. On vehicle safety, I will be particularly focused on making sure that NHTSA has a clear focus and the ability to prioritize safety as it always has. As with any policy, Overly prescriptive mandates have the potential to cloud the agency's focus and divert it from existing priorities. I'm also very supportive of the House language, ensuring that dollars from the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund go towards their intended purpose of maintaining harbors, i.e. dredging. Maintaining our commercial and recreational harbors is also essential to local growth, infrastructure development, and the countless jobs uh, across the Great Lakes. These are not only my home state's most treasured natural resource, but it also is one of our strongest economic assets. And the livelihood of tens of thousands of Michigan families and businesses depend upon our harbors and deserve the certainty of knowing that these gateways of opportunity will remain open for business. Other important matters in the House passed bill include a path for expedited approval of the Keystone XL pipeline and a state-based regulatory framework for the safe management, reuse, and disposal of coal ash. While the connection between these items and a transportation infrastructure package may not seem obvious, in fact, these policies make perfect sense in the content, context of this package. Coal ash is widely used as a component in construction materials, including concrete. So the regulatory regime governing its management has a direct effect on the cost and durability of our roads and bridges. EPA's proposal to reclassify this material as a hazardous waste would make road construction more expensive, the infrastructure that we build may not last as long, and the liability, which translates to cost, would be higher for everyone. The federal framework for states to regulate and management, manage this material is a common sense alternative that maintains environmental protections without sacrificing jobs or driving up prices, and I would note that this language passed in the House last fall by almost a two-to-one margin, including the, the Democratic whip, Mr. Clyburn. Likewise, the Keystone XL pipeline is a logical place to include in our final agreement. After all, this is a jobs and infrastructure project, and the Keystone XL pipeline is the ultimate jobs and infrastructure project. Keystone XL has undergone extensive environmental review. The State Department worked for over t with over 10 other federal agencies for more than three years and concluded that construction and operation of the pipeline would have limited adverse environmental impacts. In fact, construction of Keystone XL was preferred over not building the pipeline at all. That's because pipelines are the safest way to transport oil and gas. And they're safer than ever thanks to new pipeline safety requirements that many of us worked together to finalize and see enacted earlier this year. TransCanada is working with the state of Nebraska to develop a new route that avoids environmentally sensitive areas. And just last week, the company resubmitted its application for the cross-border permit approval. The time for delay is over. This is a $7 billion privately funded infrastructure project that will create and support tens of thousands of jobs <coughs> and bring tremendous energy security. It has been thoroughly reviewed, and its route in Nebraska is being resolved with input and agreement from that state. Expedited approval of the Keystone XL pipeline has already secured broad bipartisanship in the House, and it has bipartisan backing in the Senate.